is Jan from Jan Does Reviews, and it's that time of month. Glitz Glam box time. So, this is a $15 a month subscription. Your local sales tax is included, but there is $2.99 um, shipping charge. Sorry, went blank there for a second. <clears throat> Secure the glam. It says, Glitz Glam Box, Season 3, Episode 5, previously on, and a little television symbol, there it is with all the stuff, um, it says starring Brendan Dillon Kelly Pallet. so apparently this is a 90210 thing, I never got into that series, I didn't watch it, so I'm, don't know, man, whatever. This is how it came packaged. I haven't even opened it. There are, as you can see, absolutely no leaks. So, that's as far as I went. This did come in today's mail. It's always beautifully packaged in tissue paper with their little custom logo. And, alrighty. Um, Let's start out with the palette, since I mentioned that. <clears throat> this is valued at $29. It says um, Beverly Hills 90210. Brendan Dillon Kelly Palette. This is from Sola Look. Um, we have seen these in the Glitz Glam box before. On the back of the package it says, as the Brendan Dillon Kelly Love Triangle from Beverly Hills 90210, Progressed over a number of seasons, we always waited with anticipation to see who would ultimately end up with who. Celebrate one of the best love triangles from the early 90s with this palette that contains nine eyeshadows and pigments. Just please don't force Dylan to choose between Brenda or Kelly. Okay. That's fine because I have zero knowledge. Um, it is taped shut. So, let's open this puppy up and see what this really looks like. And in case you all don't know, the difference between eyeshadow and pigments is pigments can stain the eye. So, um, the FDA requires all cosmetic companies to list them as a pigment rather than an eyeshadow because they do cause staining. There's no danger. They're not unhealthy or unsafe. They just, they cause staining. That's the only difference. Um, there is a miller, uh, mirror here. There we go. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Not sure about this. I mean, we're gonna, excuse me, we're gonna use this today, but I am not sure that I'm going to love it. Um, there's three glitters, three shimmers, and three mattes. So, yeah. Hmm. They've got weird names. I'm sure if I watched the series, they would make more sense. We've got Brenda Loves Dylan, Dylan, and Dylan and Loves Kelly. Then we've got, um, that's at the top of each row here. Then the individual shadow names are Broken Flower Pot, The Bad Boy, That Simmer, going across the mats there. Then for the shimmer shades, we have Junior Prom, Eyebrow Scar, and sleeping on the beach. That's your shimmers. And now for the glitters. Brendan's Brandon's sister, Tony Marchette, and ends with a kiss. No clue. Eh, whatever. Like I said, not a big thing here. Um, on the card, it says it's valued at $29. Menage a trois with this love triangle face and eye palette. Create endless, totally rad looks. 
face and eye palette. Okay. I'm not sure what particularly you would use that on your face. These aren't shades that I would use on my face. Um, if you were of a medium or deeper skin tone than I, you might. So, never really thought about it. Um, then we've got the Pinky Star Glam Never Basic Lashes. And mine is in the style Totally Rad the box looks like very very pink um, these are valued at $12 that's what it usually is for the never basic lashes um, and here it says starlet approved glam reusable faux mink lashes with these lashes on you will definitely win your dream boats heart Okay. Let's see what they look like. Ooh, yeah. Definitely not my style. I don't know if I want to put these on or not. We shall see. And then, um, Amuse Cosmetics Liquid Love Eyeliner. And... I'm sure there is a shade name on here somewhere. This is what it looks like. Um, Amuse. This is valued at five ninety nine. Um, heartbreak mustn't. Heartbreak much. <clears throat> Don't worry. Hmm. You will with this long wear liquid velvet liner. It will stay put even when things are hot and heavy. I don't know. Okay. And I'm looking for a shade name. I presume it's probably black. But. Let's see. I don't see a. Let's open it up and just take a look, right? Ew, my nails are filthy. Yeah, it is just a plain black felt tip liner. And then finally, we have, uh, let's see here. Brendan loves, Dylan loves Kelly lip cream. And this is also from Sola Look. That's what the box looks like. 90210. Um, I think Sola Look did the Charmed palette. I don't know that they do anything other than collaborations on TV shows of yesteryear. I don't know. I don't know much about the company. So um, this is valued at $14. Pay attention, this could get confusing. Brenda loves Dylan, a deep true red and matte. The bad boy, a lilac mauve and glossy, which is what I got. Um, Dylan loves Kelly, a cool toned red and matte. So, um, yeah, see right there, I got the bad boy. Let's open this up and take a look at it. Well, there we go. Ooh. Okay. That's what it looks like. Um, hmm. Open her up. And these doe fits that are kind of teardrop shaped are, um, I'm seeing them more and more in liquid lips, so, and I, I prefer them, so. It doesn't really have a scent, um, other than a slight, you know, makeup-y smell, so. 
All right, let me step off camera for a second and then I'll be right back and we will do um, the try on portion of the video. Okay, I'm back and I've got all my brushes, mascara. Um, I haven't decided whether I'm gonna put lashes on or not. I'll figure that out once I've done the look. Um, for those of you curious what the heck I'm gonna do with this palette since it is so not my cup of tea. Um, I'm actually gonna go in with the Brenda Loves Dylan line here. And it is very, very shimmery. Um, there's not really a good transition color. So what I'm gonna do is Junior Prom here for transition. I'm gonna deepen up my outer corners with this top color, which is Broken Flower Pot. And then all over the lid, I'm going to put this um, Brandon's Sister, which is a pink purple shift. So that's what I'm gonna do. I will speed up through here. Um, I may uh, reappear with lashes or I may just go straight on to eyeliner and mascara. Um, I am planning on using this and using this for my lip. I've got everything else on for the day, so good. That's the plan, and we're gonna start in three, two, one, speed up.
final thoughts. Um, I like the lip cream with this eye look, but this is not a color. It's a little, mm, a little darker than I would normally go. I do like mauves, but this is just a deeper shade than I would normally wear. Um, and hmm, it's not my favorite. The formula, it's very creamy and rich feeling. Um, I do have the lashes on. They are, um, as you can see, they're not quite symmetrical. I had my daughter put them on because they just intimidated the hell out of me. <clears throat> this one is a little closer to the inner corner than this one is, but um, if I want something really dramatic and fluttery, these definitely fit the bill. Um, I like the eyeshadow surprisingly more than I, I initially thought I would. Um, I did swatch out the colors just to see um, how bad they would stain and as you can see I, I got them all off after swatching but wearing them might be a different story. Um, when I was swatching them the darker colors here right there the, the little T there these all were harder to remove um, than say, well actually it's um, it's more like a little Tetris bar, isn't it? It's these three top and then these two here. This lighter peachy one was quite easy and all of the bottom ones were quite easy to remove. Um, but the shades are very pigmented so you only need a small bit. Um, even though there wasn't really a true transition shade, you know, what I would call a medium tone, this, this still works. This is the finished eye look. Um, surprisingly, this is okay. Um, like I said, I like this lip cream with the eye look I did today. Um, I think it would look a little weird with either of the others. This one's very peachy toned. And then this one does have some gold, but it's it's way too warm. And this is definitely a cooler toned lip cream. So, um, this eyeliner is a definite no-go. Uh, it skips. It's really hard to remove when you do make a mistake, which might be a good thing if it wasn't skippy, you know? Um, I am usually a fan of a felt tip applicator. Um, I like brush tips too, but uh, felt tips are just easier because you generally can lay it down and make a nice smooth line. This one not so much. <clears throat> I guess it's just the shape of the applicator itself. It, uh, it doesn't lay down smoothly and I'm, I'm not sure why, but not a fan. Um, and it has a weird chemical smell. So this is a definite pass. Uh, the eyelashes, like I said, they're a little dramatic. They are long and fluttery. They're not heavy at all, but not my style. I prefer them a little shorter um, and not quite so, you know, you can see the little segments here and there's thinner pieces between these thicker segments. That's not generally the style I like. I like them to be fairly symmetrical all the way across. <clears throat> but these aren't bad. I mean, they're good quality. Um, they're quite pretty on the eyes. They're just a little dramatic. <laughs> so, um, let's talk money. So, this box costs $15, which you know, it's, you get quite a bit. It's all full size products. Um, you never get little sample sizes. And I would say a personal value of $43, which is almost triple the value of um, the price of the box. So, great. Um, and that would be for the 90210 collection. Uh, like I said, the lashes are a little much. They're not something I see myself probably ever wearing again unless maybe um, Halloween look. They would be kind of good for that. Um, the eyeliner is just, 
it's a no-go. I've got other liquid liners that I prefer that work much easier. Um, lay down a line without skipping or being um, patchy. Um, but I like the lip cream. It's just a little darker than I normally wear. But if I wear a brighter or darker, you know, not a neutral eye look, this would go great because I prefer when I do go that route to wear cooler tones so it'll match perfectly. And this palette, like I said, it's just, um, it's better than I thought it was going to be. So it, it's surprising. Um, the packaging makes no difference to me. I'm just, I'm not a 90210 fan. I haven't watched a single episode ever. I was more of a friends kind of girl for the 90s. So, um, yeah. <clears throat> so that would be, you know, the cost of $29 plus the $14 from Solo Look. Um, they are good quality. The lip cream, you know, as I've been talking, it doesn't seem to transfer out of where I initially put it. So liner is not necessarily ne or necessarily a must. Um, I do have heavily lined lips, as you can see, but it's not transferring anywhere. So um, that's going to wrap it up for today. I still haven't gotten a shipping notification on any of the Boutique K Beauty boxes that I'm supposed to be receiving. Um, I'm starting to think that's a scam and that I have been completely rooked for 60 bucks. So um, if I ever get an update on that, of course I'll let you know. Ipsy has not shipped yet. Um, I have been billed for the box, but it doesn't generally ship out until after the 15th. So stay tuned for those two videos. They will be coming. If you want swatches of everything, you can find it on my Instagram account of the same name, Jan Does Reviews. Maybe give this video a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and share me with a friend if you think they might enjoy the content that I post. Um, I could always use more friends. Who couldn't? So that's going to be it for today. I hope you all have a great day. Stay happy, stay healthy, and make good choices. Bye.